is that it's not the other roles start to recede because you've got this commitment and you're holding your purpose out front. Then it's like you move from the trickle into the stream, and there, there is kind of a flow. I mean, it's like for me the experience was like, wow, it just seems like it's all orchestrated. And we've all had glimmers of that in restaurants and here and there and grocery stores. But then as the commitment grows, then it's like you're you're being carried along you know, on a stream, and it seems like a pretty quick stream. And then you, before you know it, you find yourself in the river. But when you, by the time you're in the river, the body does is perceived as quite apart from you. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's where the the concern for it, all the plans and the preparations and the care for it and everything, has so receded from the mind that the mind is so riveted on this this purpose and everything. And there's so much of a joy and a flow mm -hmm. that then I think. To me, there's a, there has been that experiential shift of, of not identifying myself as, as not thinking of myself as body. Mm -hmm. So that, for example, when I was on traveling towards Whidbey Island one time and standing there on the front of the deck, kind of looking out over the water, just real centered in the moment, and this thing went blaring off and everything. didn't jump or anything. And I know that that was a good witness to me of where my mind was things flying at you or sharp things going off or temperature extremes or whatever, that all just becomes just fading into the background because the body is not a focal point. Mm -hmm. It's more like a pencil. Mm -hmm.